What is the minimum altitude for use of the Autopilot Flight Director System Level Change Mode? Minimum altitude for level change mode is not below 1,000 feet above field elevation. What is the limitation associated with aileron trim and the autopilot? Do not use aileron trim with the autopilot engaged. What is the limitation on the use of alternate flaps? The alternate flap duty cycle is to allow 15 seconds between applications of the alternate flaps position switch and after completing a retract or extend cycle, allow 5 minutes of cooling time. What is the lowest height for autopilot engagement on a single channel autopilot approach? For a single channel autopilot approach, the minimum height for engagement is 50 feet AGL. What is the minimum height for autopilot engagement after takeoff? After takeoff, the minimum engagement for autopilot height is 400 feet AGL. What is the 737 approach category and what are the circling restrictions in terms of speeds, distance and OCH? 737 is CAT C, max speed for circling 180 knots, 4.2 nautical miles and 400 feet. What is the 737 approach category and what are the range of speeds for final approach? 737 is CAT C, final approach 115 to 160 knots. What is the 737 approach category and what is the initial approach speed range? 737 is CAT C, initial approach 160 to 240 knots. What is the approach category for the 737 and what are the missed approach speed restrictions? 737 is CAT C, initial missed approach 160 knots, final missed approach 240 knots. How soon after APU start may you use the bleed air from the APU? APU start and bleed air source limitation is that you should wait two minutes before using the APU as a bleed source after APU start. What is the APU bleed valve limitation during engine start? APU bleed valve limitation for engine start is that the APU bleed valve may be open during engine start, but avoid engine power above idle. What limitations are placed on the use of the APU bleed valve with ground and or engine air bleed sources? APU bleed source limitations include the APU bleed air must be off when ground air and the isolation valve open or engine number one bleed valve open or engine number three bleed and isolation valves open. What is the altitude limitation for in-flight use of APU bleed and electrical load? APU in-flight bleed and electrical limitation is a maximum altitude of 10,000 feet. What is the maximum altitude for APU bleed use? APU maximum altitude for bleed only use is 17,000 feet. What is the maximum altitude for APU electrical load use? APU maximum altitude for electrical use is 41,000 feet. Basically no restriction. What is the on-ground maximum altitude for APU use of bleed and electrical load? APU on-ground bleed and electrical limitation, maximum altitude, 15,000 feet. What is the APU starter duty cycle? The APU starter duty cycle is after three consecutive aborted start attempts, a 15 minute cooling period is required. What are the flap limitations associated with Autoland? Autoland landing flap limitations all engines can be done flap 30 or flap 40. One engine out can be landed flap 30, but only in the latter series 800 aircraft. What are the maximum and minimum limitations on the glide slope path for the use of Autoland? Autoland minimum and maximum glide slope limitations are maximum glide slope 3.25 degrees, minimum glide slope 2.5 degrees.
What are the headwind, crosswind and tailwind limitations on the use of auto land? Auto land headwind limitation is 25 knots. Auto land tailwind limitation is 15 knots. Auto land crosswind limitation on the 700 and early 800 series, 20 knots. Auto land crosswind limitation on the latter series 800s, 25 knots. For a 30 metre runway, what are the maximum crosswind limits for takeoff and landing? Crosswind limits for takeoff and landing on a 30 metre runway are 25 knots for takeoff or landing wet or dry. 25 knots. What are the limitations to dispatch to a runway width of less than 45 metres? The limitations include the nose gear steering must be operative and you must divert if possible in the event of jammed or restricted flight controls, trailing or leading edge flap slap asymmetry or loss of A or B hydraulic systems. What is the limitation placed on engine bleed air and packs for takeoff? With engine bleed air on, do not operate packs in high for takeoff, approach or landing. Note any QRH non-normal takes priority over this limitation. Engine malfunction on takeoff. No calls between V1 and gear up and then pilot monitoring, fire or engine failure. PF responds, check. At 400 feet with flight path navigation stabilized and the autopilot engaged, PF calls, Confirm the failure. PM says, fire engine one. PF says, confirm memory items, fire engine checklist. Pilot monitoring says, autothrottle disengage. Pilot flying disengages the autothrottle, disengaged. Pilot monitoring states, thrust lever confirm close. Pilot flying identifies the thrust lever. Number one. Pilot monitoring says confirmed or potentially negative. Pilot flying closes the thrust lever and states closed. Pilot monitoring moves on to engine start lever confirm cutoff. Pilot monitoring identifies the lever. Number one. Pilot flying confirmed. Pilot monitoring selects cutoff and states cutoff. Pilot monitoring moves on to engine fire switch confirm pull. Pilot monitoring identifies the lever. Number one. Pilot flying confirmed. Pilot monitoring pulls the fire switch pulled. Pilot monitoring then says fire switch remains illuminated or Engine overheat remains illuminated and then states the action. Engine fire switch rotate to the stop and hold for one second. PM completes the action and states rotate and hold for one second. PM commences timing for 30 seconds and verifies bottle discharge. After 30 seconds, PM states fire switch remains illuminated or engine overheat remains illuminated and then states the action. Engine fire switch rotate to the other stop and hold for one second. PM completes the action and states rotate and hold for one second. PM states memory items complete and verifies bottle discharge. PM could further state fire switch remains illuminated or engine overheat remains illuminated or fire overheat is out. What is the wind limitation on the entry service doors? Entry service door wind limitations include do not open them with winds in excess of 40 knots, do not keep open with wind gust in excess of 65 knots. What is the limitation on holding in icing conditions with flaps extended? Flaps extended holding in icing conditions limitation is this is prohibited. What is the maximum altitude with flaps extended? Maximum altitude with flaps extended is 20,000 feet. For a 30 metre runway, 
what are the first officer limitations for takeoff and landing? First officer limitations for takeoff and landing on a 30 metre runway are at least 300 hours on type and a maximum crosswind of 10 knots. What is the maximum fuel in the centre tank if the main tanks are not full? The centre tank fuel limitation is a maximum of 453 kilos in the centre tank if the mains are not full. What is the limitation on lateral fuel imbalance between the main tanks? Maximum fuel tank lateral imbalance, the scheduled lateral imbalance must be zero. The maximum difference between tanks 1 and 2 must be 453 kilos for takeoff, flight or landing. What is the maximum temperature for the fuel in tank? Maximum fuel temperature for the fuel in tank is 49 degrees centigrade. What is the minimum fuel in tank temperature? Minimum fuel temperature for the fuel in tank is minus 43 degrees or the fuel freeze temperature plus 3, whichever is higher. Note the use of fuel icing system inhibitor additive does not change this limitation. What limitation is placed on the use of HF radio during refueling? During refueling, HF radios must not be operated. What is the limitation on the use of reverse thrust in flight? In flight reverse thrust limitation is, yeah, don't do that. What is the maximum altitude for takeoff and landing? Maximum altitude for takeoff and landing, 8,400 feet. What is the maximum cabin differential pressure? Maximum cabin differential pressure is 9.1 psi. For a 45 metre runway, what's the maximum crosswind components for landing, wet and dry? The maximum crosswind for landing on a 45 metre runway is 40 knots dry and wet. For a 45 metre runway, the split scimitar winglet aircraft has a specific crosswind restriction. What is it? The split scimitar winglet aircraft has a 37 knot landing crosswind limit, wet or dry, instead of 40. For a 45 metre runway, what's the maximum takeoff crosswind component? For a 45 metre runway, maximum takeoff crosswind dry is 34 knots and wet 25 knots. What is the maximum operating altitude? Maximum operating altitude, 41,000 feet. What is the maximum extension of the speed brake allowed in flight? Max speed brake extension in flight is do not extend the speed brake lever beyond the flight detent in flight. Go figure. What is maximum speed in the aircraft, VMO, MMO? Maximum speed, VMO, 340 knots, MMO, 0.82 Mach. What are the maximum tailwind components for takeoff and landing? Maximum tailwind component for takeoff and landing is 15 knots for both. What is the speed restriction for aircraft taxi over military arrestor hook cables? I kid you not. Military arrestor hook cables taxi speed limitation recommended speed less than 25 knots. That's for the nose gear uh, taxi or takeoff. There is no landing restriction. Avoid hard braking when traversing cables. Or don't traverse them. What is the limitation on rapid, large and alternating control inputs? Avoid rapid and large alternating control inputs, especially in combination with large changes in pitch, roll or yaw, that is large side slip angles, as they may result in structural failure at any speed, including below manoeuvring speed, VA. For RVSM, what is the maximum difference in flight between the two main altimeters? For RVSM, the maximum in flight difference from the two main altimeters is 200 feet. For RVSM, what's the maximum on ground difference between the captain and the FO's altimeter and the captain, the FO's altimeter and field elevation? 
from sea level to 5,000 feet, maximum difference between the altimeters is 50 feet. Maximum difference between an altimeter and field elevation is 75 feet. What is the maximum altimeter difference between the standby altimeter and the other altimeters or ground field elevation? For RVSM, the standby altimeter does not meet RVSM accuracy requirements. What is severe turbulence penetration speed? Severe turbulence penetration speed is the lower of 280 knots or Mach 0.76. What is the use of speed brake with flaps extended in flight? The speed brake and flaps limitation is that the speed brake shall not be used with flaps 15 or greater. What is the limitation on the indoor use of weather radar? Weather radar indoor limitation is to avoid weather radar operation in the hangar, but clearly in the lounge room would be okay.